Last time on Sailing Kitty Wake, we went into a marina in Calaforte, a charming Italian town on the tiny island of San Pietro, to provision Scura for one month. We ended up staying in Calaforte for a few days as a new Mistral blew strong over Sardinia and we didn't fancy being locked inside the boat again. This gave us a chance to organize our wedding, which we had planned to host in this special place. After the wind died down, we were ready to leave the dock and go look for a spot where to exchange our vows. The high winds are over, yay! <laughs> so we can get out of here. Can you see Ryan over there? He is getting our water hose and we're getting ready to go. We're just going down the coast, there's no wind today, but we could really do with not paying for a slip for an yet another night. You ready to set off? Yeah, just go get the electric. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I'm back where I belong on the bowsprit. Got it back, stole it again. So we're going back to the anchorage where we were before, but uh, we'll take you to shore with us so that you can see what it's like around there because we haven't really shown you much of the island and uh, hopefully you will like the cliffs. It's meant to be pretty stunning. And then as soon as we found our wedding spot, we are headed across to the um, other island which is in front of us called Sant'Antioco and we're going to an anchorage we've never been before to get protection from some easterly southeasterlies uh, which are coming up later tonight I think around midnight Once anchored, we went to shore to explore the southeastern side of San Pietro. So we're gonna row? Yeah. The island measures 51 square kilometers and is inhabited by 6,000 people, most of whom live in Calaforte, which is the only town. Calaforte has a long tuna fishing history, which is reflected in the local cuisine and is celebrated in the tuna festival called Girotonno every spring. The interior of the island is hilly, while the coast features both rocky cliffs and sandy beaches. After choosing our ceremony spot, we went back to Scua to do a bit of boat work. What's there? The chain plates that um, the shrouds connect to needed resealing. I didn't really want to do it while we were 
well before we set off because I wanted to get the rig set up right because the chain plates themselves kind of move a little bit when you tighten the rig up and stuff which is normal they flex and whatnot and the deck doesn't flex so I didn't want to seal them and then tighten them up and then have them move so um, I've just been digging out the old sealant and now I'm gonna clean up inside here and then apply new sealant, um, polyurethane sealant. And it's quite important because obviously this area gets a lot of water, especially when it's raining or um, if water comes over the decks, it basically flows down this area. And then the water can get in through here if it's not well sealed. And then um, it can make our food wet because some of these go through into the cupboards where we store our food and it can also rot the plywood knees that the chain plates are attached to which is a bit of a well-known issue on these Tayanas and a lot of Taiwan built boats from this sort of era. I'm not really that keen on this chain plate setup. I think eventually I'd quite like to go to external chain plates. So the chain plates are on the outside of the hull and through vaulted through the hull which is a lot stronger and less prone to sort of rot and problems. we set off our eyelets in the side dodgers have gone utterly utterly rusty the other day we went to the chandlery in Caloforte and we got these which should be stainless and they are not exactly the right size but I've tried to replay replace one and it looks, looks alright <laughs> it's 5 p.m. and we are off. So it looks like we're going straight out of here and slightly slightly northeast. I'd be surprised if it takes more than 20 minutes. Oh, how cute. Whoa, look at all these veggies. I'm so excited to have fresh produce again. Today we are moving on, there's a new Mistral coming which um, around this area will reach gusts up to 52 gust knots, um, yeah. 50 plus knots um, of gusts, so we're not keen on that. <laughs> it feels like there's a new Mistral coming every, t every new forecast basically at the moment. Hopefully they will die down in the summer um but yeah we're moving to malfatano which is about 33 nautical miles uh, down the coast so east from here i've been deep down stuck in the gutter i've been off the grid 
for days I've been lost just trying to forget her But I wake up and nothing's changed I've been going down lost in the letters Trying to get back into place I've been losing ground in the lost and found Cause I let it slip well you can see it but there's a completely flat patch and that is a reef. The name of that reef is Manjabarka which means eater of <laughs> boats so I'm gonna give it a really wide berth. So I think we left at the perfect time just as we were coming out the anchorage the wind piped up to 20 knots um, it's not from a very good direction at the moment, but soon we'll be turning and then it should be on our beam or just forward of the beam and we'll be able to make good use of it. Feeling? Yeah, good now. <laughs> we had to interrupt the filming because we had a bit of a choppy sea and uh, wasn't feeling great. But now that I've been sick, I feel a lot better. <laughs> but um, we we're starting filming just when the sun came out, so you haven't missed on a lot of beauty. It was yeah, it's pretty grey and pukey. Yeah, a bit miserable. <laughs> wind has picked up quite a bit, it's now 18 to 21 knots and it's on the quarter and it's turned into a really lovely sailing day from it being grey and sloppy and horrible to it being pretty stunning, zooming along. We can't quite make our course at the moment because it would be dead downwind so we're going to carry on on this um, tack for a bit and then we'll drive and then that should set us on course to Malfatano where we're going to go and anchor. Watch that bolt. Oh my god. 
they're not going to last much longer. Um, uh, maybe. So our davits are breaking. Uh, we're going to heave two and try and put the dinghy in the water. We might even be able to put it on board, but... I'll try moving two with the Yankee. With the Yankee, ah, uh, yeah. Might be a bit more difficult. Uh, yeah. Sorry, out the way. I was going to turn it into the wind. of a situation I tried to film as much as possible but it wasn't safe to keep filming because uh, basically our davits just almost broke uh, the bolts that were keeping the how cross would you beam. say huh? cross beam. the cross beam attached to the sides started to wobble and we could see the bolts getting undone yeah, they were coming through the wood yeah, like it would have probably destroyed the wood, which is not super thick anyway. And yeah, we got a bit worried about barnacle larding. So yeah. Um, this is why we were doing six and a half knots in a uh, <laughs> following sea. So following didn't want, sea. We didn't yeah. want a dinghy like crashing into the water. No. Right and uh, we were we were touching seven knots, so <laughs> that was a little bit stressful. But um, we heaved two with the Yankee, which we didn't think would work very well, but it worked all right. We didn't have the main perfectly set for it, so we were still doing two knots <laughs> against the wind. Um, and then um, we used the engine to, <laughs> to go in reverse because we just wanted to get it off. Yeah, we took the lines, um, the bridles that were keeping the dinghy on the davits off, let it down, and now she is happily bobbing onto and surfing on the waves. Really well, huh? she, she stirs beautifully, thankfully. <laughs> we never tried it before. Um, yeah, stressful situation. But we now are making uh, the perfect course. Yeah. <laughs> the sets are, the sails are set better than before. We didn't have to jive. We didn't have to jive. We basically tacked. Yeah, we tacked instead of jiving. And yeah, all is good again. <laughs> So it's really nice outside and down here it's um, probably even nicer. It's really calm, even though we're shooting along at six knots in 23, 24 knots of wind, the boat is really nice down here. I actually just came down here to um, check on the AIS. There's a fishing boat in front of us. He's not, he was almost exactly on our course. We were gonna pass within a couple of hundred feet of him. Um, but because fishing boats tend to move around a lot, I try to keep quite a wide berth away from them. Obviously they might be like trawling nets as well, so you never want to get too close to fishing boats. So we just hardened up on the sheets and turned up into the wind a little bit, maybe 10 degrees I think. coming up to Capo Malpatano right behind me we still have the sails up and uh, we're sailing but we're warming up the engine so we can go in 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, consider supporting our production on Patreon and get access to more videos. Tune in next time to watch us go on a stunning sail as we head further east.